Good afternoon, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's question is, how do I get closure from my ex who ghosted me three years later? Closure is not always what we would like it to be. And when someone walks away in, in this manner, especially after three years, that is such a cowardly way to end a relationship. Because you know what? You spent that much time with somebody, they deserve to have a few answers. And I understand why people do need closure. But unfortunately, if somebody can be that person and just walk away coldly in the manner they did, how much more closure do you need than that? They were done, they were over, and they had no freaking respect for you to tell you to your face. So something had gone on in your relationship probably towards the end that maybe you weren't constantly paying attention to. Maybe they had checked out a long time ago because most people don't just leave because of one bad thing or one thing that happened. There was stuff going on that made them check out before they actually left. And this is something that a lot of us miss. You want to be able to have a relationship where you are open enough to talk about everything that's going on, every problem, every great thing. Because if you don't, this is what happens with the blindsided situations where you don't get the closure and understanding of why you broke up. See, to him, he got his closure because he's the one that shut the door. He's the one that walked away. So he doesn't need to talk about it. But what I want you to get out of this is I want you to understand there's always a little bit of ownership in every situation of a breakup or getting together or anything within a relationship. There's two people. And sometimes we can overlook things. Sometimes we put things on the back burner. Sometimes we notice a certain situation, but we feel that, oh, it's just temporary. It's not here to stay. So we let it go. But unfortunately, a lot of the closure we're looking for was actually right in front of us while we were in our relationship. And that's the big part of the problem that a lot of people don't see. If you're paying close attention to what is going on in your relationship, you will start to see some of these little crumbling things that are going on. And if you look back and are really honest with yourself, pay attention to those couple of times maybe you had a fight about the same thing or maybe you didn't talk to each other for a few days living in the same house together because you weren't in agreement with something you had different values in life you have different hobbies different goals all of those things contribute to a breakup but we don't always see what it is because we're not opening our eyes wide enough you could also maybe ask a few friends and family members if they noticed anything. Sometimes we don't see it. Sometimes we really just don't see that there were issues or maybe it was a bigger issue to him than it was to you. Ask your friends, ask your family what they notice. Maybe that will help give you a little bit of closure because if they're telling you, oh yeah, no, we saw a disconnect a long time ago, all these things, at least then you can say, okay, that helps me a little bit understand that there was a disconnect going on in our relationship. That can help you get, get into the next phase of getting over this breakup. Unfortunately, sometimes there's not a lot of words that can that make you feel better, but understanding that this guy could just walk away without even leaving you a freaking post-it note on the fridge is pretty shallow. And I know it doesn't sound great to hear that he did you a favor because you spent three years with him, but you could have spent 30 years with this person who isn't honest with you and who's able to just shut the door and walk away in the manner that he did. So please learn from this. Understand what was missing, what was great. Take all those things and use those lessons when you move forward into a new relationship because you will. You're not gonna let him have power over you that you're not gonna fall in love again. Yes, it's gonna be a lot harder to trust, but this time you're going to really, really listen to what's going on. Pay close attention to everything in your relationship. And if you feel they're shutting down or there's some issues, sit them down and talk to them about it. Because this is one of the biggest things. People aren't paying close enough attention to the changes that are developing in their own home. And that's why people just walk away sometimes. You know, we don't always see the writing on the wall 
because our ego is is dealing with the rejection and talking louder than our common sense because we do know internally when something is a bit off there are odd, the odd times when you're completely blindsided by somebody but after three years there were probably a few things that were there that you just maybe didn't see or didn't want to see for you to get closure I suggest just writing things down seeing what the changes were that happened when did he start checking out and and put those into perspective was there a lot of signs that you just decided not to see thank you so much everyone for listening to dear cyber C today please subscribe and I will be back next Wednesday with another video please leave your comments and click like I really appreciate it thanks so much bye bye